guys, this is Comic Goon now, and today I'm doing a review for Miss Marvel issue 4. Been loving this series, and before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Goon now episode 50, and that's the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We have Furious issue 5, Chew slash Revival issue 1, Cowl issue 1, Disney Kingdom Seekers of the Weird issue 5, and Guardians of the Galaxy, issue 15. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 50. Uh, and also, if you guys want to vote for the Geeky Awards you haven't already, go vote for the Geeky Awards. They'll be annotated. But let's talk about Miss Marvel, issue 4, a series that I've been really enjoying. I've been enjoying Camilla's character and uh, just love origin stories. It feels like a very unique style of origin story. Uh, so really cool cover. Been liking the art too. I know it's, you know, some people are picky with it, but I like it. It's a little bit of a different art style anyways for the cover. Actually, it looks a little bit like Young Avengers art style, but I like the art here uh, for the cover. It's cool that she's going across a diner and the parents are eating and no one's even noticing that. Uh, so let's see what's going on with the story, though. I do like the cover. We get to see the design for Miss Marvel's costume that we haven't really seen in the comic yet, though. Um... So in this issue, we get to see that Miss Marvel gets shot. Yes, Miss Marvel gets shot, and her friend discovers that this is Camilla, and is like, oh no, you are you have powers, why didn't you tell me? Uh, and then when she changes back, she actually doesn't have the bullet in her anymore. So she heals her shape-shifting side very quickly, but she still has that wound. So it's interesting to see how her powers are working, and she's trying to realize how her powers work. Uh, so now she has a confidant for superhero powers, and she's starting to become a superhero. People are starting to know her. Uh, she even has this little new costume. Even though this is a very amateur costume, she does have a costume for the police, and she calls herself Miss Marvel. Uh, now she's trying to get her friend's brother out of the bad things he's doing right now, while he even tried to uh, get money from the Quickie Mart, or... That's Simpsons, but it's a Quickie Mart type thing. Uh, and we have to see what the brother is going through, what bad things has he been doing. And Miss Marvel's pretty stuck. Uh, this is the big bad guy that he's working with, and that's the cliffhanger. She has to defeat him, and will this work? Uh, we don't know, because he's kind of a powerful guy in this gang that he's working with. So, And also, again, her friend is helping her throughout the issue. Um, I like this issue. I thought it was a very solid issue. I can't say it blew my mind, but, uh, I really like this issue. And honestly, out of the whole week, this is the issue I enjoyed the most, uh, reading. I had a really, a lot of fun with it. What I, you know, in general with Miss Marvel, I've been having a lot of fun with the series. Um, I love the personality of the character, and I think it shines here, too. Um, you knew she needed a confidant with that friend. Uh, the friend's now here. The story is progressing really well. Uh, the art style, I think, works for the series. Uh, and I like how she's discovering her powers. Um, you know, her not really knowing much about her powers and be like, oh, this is how my powers work. Uh, do I have other powers, you know? Uh, so I think that's an interesting aspect. And I love how she accepted the Miss Marvel role and said, hey, you know what? I am Miss Marvel. Um, I'm not Captain Marvel because someone else took that name, but I think I could take over Miss Marvel because you know what? I had guts to do it. Uh, so I think that's interesting. Hopefully she gets to meet Captain Marvel one these days, which I think she will, but we're getting to see her own origin story first. Um, good cliffhanger, and I, overall I've been loving the story arc um, and loving this issue and loving this series. Uh, so I'm going to give this four stars. Again, did it blow my mind as other issues did? No, because it is a, a little bit more of a point A to point B issue, uh, but I liked it. This is the issue I had most fun with. This is my pick of the week. I gave it four stars, so it was very solid, close to four and a half. Uh, so this is my pick of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ren Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later.